Baxter going down. He and Eli Cronale, that's going to be a battle, I think, all night long. And now a long ball here. Marsh Brown with the chip. And, and now the hill grows higher. Here's a ball in. And Keanu Marsh. match of the restart and Memphis dropping a 3-0 decision in Birmingham. Birmingham jumped all over the visitor. A longer spell of possession for Memphis. They haven't really gone anywhere with it. That's the key thing you got to think about here. The top they let it th run through for Buckmaster. Paul for 901 FC. You see the Legion pressing pretty high up the field as Bruno Lapa is deep within the 18 yard box. 901 FC's 18 yard box, but 901 FC doing a great job. Of really well. Youth talent. Eight up with 901 FC if they win that. Then things get kind of interesting with goal differential. This is less than Paul. Ooh. Paul, beautiful move to turn. Sets up McCabe. McCabe with a deft touch in the ball. Hawkinson. Uh, a brilliant save on one of my shots as well, so I didn't even want to go there. <laughs> he's, he's got your number. We'll just leave that one alone. <laughs> Somewhere I'm sure Tim is smiling. Certainly smile. Remember. team but that's just one of many but Adam Armour is big news yeah he's, he's a very good young player and I, I know that the, the club was disappointed to see him go I think he would have had a real shot at, at playing significant minutes here um, this season but obviously you know he wants to go chase his dream and, and the club supports him all the yeah he looks like he knows what he's doing yeah he's been around the block you can see that he has that kind of vibe that confidence on the ball that comes from playing it at such a high level. He gets in these spots right here in between the lines and able to turn face up field and, and again, initiate those balls that are so important in, in creating chances. Yeah, it was almost like he knew. Taylor takes down Hundley, referee letting him play. McCabe, great ball to Buckmaster. Buckmaster, all that were sick and battled through it onto the field and and 
to get those three points with six, seven, eight players not feeling very well, Austin, is huge. Yeah, it's even more impressive, you know, especially in the conditions with the heat and the humidity to battle through a straightforward way, but trying to build on that momentum. And the last one, the Hunley Hammer, he got those two goals on Thursday, like I said, in limited minutes, and he's got a chance tonight here to, to put together a complete performance, get in the start. And, man, I'm excited to see it because those, those And not give any space for service to Marsh Brown or Cal Jennings up front. Well, and for both of these teams, too, if we talk about. We might see more. A lot of contact there between Cromwell and Marsh Brown. Once again, it looked like Cromwell went through the back of Marsh Brown, but. As described by J.J. Greer, the cheeky chip of Keanu Marsh Brown. Far, just have not found the back of the net. Memphis with five shots, only one on target. The Legion only one shot, and it was not on. Jo Jose Baxter along the touchline, checked by Akinya Day. For Birmingham, they have 25 points. They are tied with Charlotte Independence. Well, Johnson. McCabe wins it for Memphis. Or club. Number one for North Carolina FC. There have been a lot of goals go by him, but Dave Sarakin feeling like really none of them are, are his fault the way he's explained it. This shot here. He's a baller. She is an absolute baller. She's in the conversation for best player in the world right now, I think. And just unbelievably lucky to, lucky to have her playing here at Wake Mitzvah. Started approaching Manny Perez. Yeah, versatility is so important. And he's just got to find that rhythm. We, we know what he's capable of. We've together top local youth talent visit usl-academy.com or search hashtag usl academy